like to welcome everybody and introduce you to Professor Anderson. Good evening again, everybody. Welcome to our College Now 2010 Summer, uh, Summer Music Recording Studio. Thank you for coming at 5 o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. Okay, I really appreciate that. We've tried it in the morning at times, and I was always the one late. So here I'm on time. I'm actually here. I've been waiting for you all this time. So thank you all for coming, really. So this is our fifth summer doing College Now. And uh, my fourth one being in charge of the kitties, as it were. And as I pretend my hair is growing, I know it gets shorter after every summer because I'm always challenged and always enjoying my time spent with teenagers, which I don't get to do often. So this summer has been no exception, uh, except that they were exceptional from the beginning. They even earned themselves a wonderful day in the city yesterday, which we have never done. That's right, Tachnu. We actually went somewhere this time. I'm sorry. And uh, that wound up being a very good day. We went to a guitar store where they ran amok and touched everything. Um, and it was OK. That we were the only ones basically in the store. But um, it was just a really like a testament to the, the kind of things that we could do with the students this summer. Uh, I think Professor Anderson took them to what the Hammerstein Ballroom. And took them, OK. Apparently, the tech people like that. Lots of cables to look at. They enjoy, they enjoy cables. So if the parents, if you're the parents of the tech students and you have a very complex um, TV audio visual system in your house, beware, because they love playing with cables. OK, that's it's a strange thing. And then Professor Shepard actually took the, the vocal people to her own personal uh, vocal studio in the city to show them what it's like to actually do that on a regular basis. And, and apparently that was fun, singing, 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 and more singing. So today, you're going to hear nothing but band and vocals. We have never done that. We've always kind of done like a separation of church and state kind of thing. But this, this was a little bit different this year, where the band and the vocalists are doing pretty much everything together, which tells me that at some point, musical theater is right around the corner. I know this is going to happen, whether I wanted to or not, but I think it's going to happen. Some, thing, you know, some things are bigger than you. There are some things that are even bigger than me. <laughs> OK? <laughs> so um, I'm sure if most of the parents know who I am without even seeing me. I'm sure you have heard some wonderful exciting tales of Professor Jackson and the lovely music he plays for the students. Uh, the great thing that really happened this summer was the first week where um, I was not supposed to be here. I was supposed to be out of town. So that uh, conference got canceled, so I stayed. And we had thought that we were just going to do a whole vocal week uh, from the third day to the, from Wednesday through Friday. So, but since I didn't go anywhere, I said, well, keep it. Let's just do it anyway. And it was, it was amazing. I did not sing, because I wanted the students to stay. So I did not sing, but it was, it was amazing to watch. People who said, I'm not singing, mostly boys. I'm not singing, I don't want to sing, I don't sing. And they were like, ah, ah. <laughs> so that's, you know, that, you know, and that's really Professor Shepard doing that. It was, it was really a lot of fun to watch, OK? And so what I'm going to do is just quickly, I'm going to turn it over to my colleagues. So they can kind of tell you what they did. And I want to see them make this mic stand shorter to talk. So, Professor Shepard, you're up first. Yay. Uh, not as tall as he is, as you can see. Okay. Um, yes, I ran the vocal program 
and I was really fortunate this year because we had 10 singers and they were phenomenal. It was a really, really fine group. We've had variations over the years of different kinds of singers. There have always been people who stood out, and this year everybody stood out. They're really fine, fine singers, lots of potential. Um, we had so much to choose from with all of these, all my singers are over here. Um, we had so much material to choose from that we really did have to cut down for what you're going to see today. You're only going to see a little bit of what we worked on. And yes, that first week was really fun. I had all the, the band, the tech people, everybody. It was lots of fun. We all sang the scales. We learned reading music. We sang Love Potion Number 9. We sang all kinds of fun things. So um, what that enabled us to do is to have, hopefully, band, band, uh, everybody singing along when we get to one of the pieces today. Yes, right? Uh-huh. We're all singing along. And audience, if you see them kind of faltering, going, oh, I'm not singing, you can join in too. So <laughs> um, there is uh, one song toward the end that everybody in the band will be singing along with as well. So anyway, it was a great, su great summer, great July, and lots of talent here. I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, thanks. Professor Anderson. And I'm Professor Anderson. I had the tech group who have deserted me and are sitting in the second row here. Um, because we actually had such a good musical group, band-wise and singer-wise, uh, tech people actually had a much more complex situation to deal with this year because we were recording... Generally, it's a separate choir, separate band, so it's a lot smaller and a lot easier to deal with. So within three weeks, these students had to go from using two mics to capture everything to using 16 mics to capture everything and get it all up and running in less than an hour, which they're able to do. Um, some of them have caught a small obsession with cable wrapping, so they may ask you to buy them a 50-foot mic cable, but that's okay. Um, but they, they did a great job. I think they had a great time at the tour yesterday. They asked lots of questions and saw lots of stuff. So good group, and thanks for letting us have them for four weeks. It's just not right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put on a little show for you, and we're going to begin, again, there's, there's really no separation of anything. We're all playing together. So uh, the first song we're going to do... As per request of our vocalists, right, band? Yes. As per request of our vocalists, we're going to do Don't Stop Believing by Journey, as per request of our vocalists.
So, College Now Vocal Ensemble, very nice. Our very exciting tech crew, I will yeah. not. summer we get somebody in the band who can't play something, who can't sing something, and who doesn't want to touch anything. I don't know what to do with that person. <laughs> okay? In the band situation, though, um, people who don't, want to, who, do, who don't know how to play an instrument, they can't say that they left here not having played. Okay? And it's important that everybody at least try. And it is, it's a hard thing to get students to understand it. Just try. So I bring in you know, these electronic drums, which you see the students playing. Now, it isn't like Dodgley and Chris are the session electronic drummers that you read about in the newspaper, OK? That's not who they are. Who they are are two students who just didn't have an instrument to know how to play. And the same thing with Shauna over here. So instead of having them sit around with the handprint in their face, which becomes their face, we try to get them to do something. The one thing I hate doing, as much as I am this person, I hate playing guitar for the students. All they will do is stare at me. I get that anyway, OK? So if I play guitar for them, all they will do is really stare at me. And then after the staring comes, they think if I touch them, something miraculous will happen, and they'll play too. So it's the hardest thing to do, to come into this program not having played an instrument and not know what you're doing. But as you can see, anybody who I called up for the band, everybody got to play something, even if they did a few notes on piano or whatever, OK? And on the recording that the students do have, uh, we could not bring them here. But we actually have tubular bells, orchestral tubular bells that um, Darina and Larissa were playing on. Now, they will look at me, they'll hide. They're hiding. How could they hide in a room? They're right here. <laughs> you see, look at, look, at, look at her. She's so proud. And I guarantee you, parents, when you hear the Scarborough Fair, the recorded version with these bells, that is these two young ladies hitting them with these mallets, OK, and just playing bells. I can't play. Professor Shepard showed them how to play it, and they learned how to play it. That's the important thing. Um, is it difficult sometimes? Sure it is, because we're not really giving lessons in an instrument, but it's, that's what makes it fun, OK? And then, of course, you can't get them off the instrument. Well, they didn't want to see the bells anymore, but that was OK. But these two, and I think, I think Dodgley thinks that the drum thing is his, and that's some kind of magical way that I'm going to, he's going to go like this and hypnotize me, and I'll stand there, and the drums will be gone. I think that's what he thinks, OK? Um, and then you have the people who do come in who know how to play. We have Bernie who can play guitar. We have Daryl who can play guitar. We have Michael <laughs> who can do whatever he wants. <laughs> and then we have Daniel who does guitar and, and piano. But um, I will have to say, I will have to say, the one thing that annoys me to no end, and my students will tell you, to no end, is when I ask a student or the class, who plays what? And people don't say anything. And then I take them to a music store. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, I'm hearing like Chopin. I'm hearing very complex, I call this the thingam guitar, piano playing, this thing. 
that advanced piano players can do, Nikki, where is she at? Where is she at? Right there. And Philip. So I have these, literally these virtuoso piano players who refuse to play piano the entire four weeks. So Philip hides behind a clarinet and Nikki hides behind a cable. <laughs> so, so that's what I got. But it was a joy to see. Okay? And whatever it took to see that, it was wonderful. So again, it's, it's hard to come in when you don't know how to play something or if you don't even think you could sing. Um, and the tech thing, if you, don't, you know, if you don't know anything about tech, now you do. And if you were scared of music software before, now you're not. And the great thing everybody got to do here was learn how to use the industry standard Pro Tools recording software. Everybody got to do it. No one was excluded from it. You got it uh, the first probably hour and a half you, were, you spent time with me. It is important that we do this. I try to tell my friends, this is a crazy program. As my adult friends here will understand, give me this in high school. Let's just go back. Let's invent this program for ourselves and have a good time in the summer, okay? Because this is great. Sure, I look tired because I am tired, okay? But I did have a fun, fun time with these students. I honestly did. And um, watching them all sing that whole first week was just great to me. I don't know how many people knew the Tommy songs and all the other stuff that we did, but we got it done. And um, I don't know, I am very happy. I will tell you about Daniel over here, though. Daniel now has the entire class apologizing. This is like his new thing. This is like, he says sorry for everything. So now everybody in the class says sorry for anything. So um, everyone here was great. Everyone here was great, and I look forward to one day passing the hall and then being a colleague of mine at some institution, you know, giving a lecture somewhere because that's what we do here. College now is a lot bigger than these guitars, these microphones, and the singing. It's a very important program, okay? And um, don't let, if, you, if your uh, son or daughter is in here and they're like a sophomore or junior, well, please remember that college now is throughout the entire year in other subjects, okay? And it is important to get them to understand that. And the other thing I will say is, the other important thing is to get them, when they're through with their college now and they're ready to graduate, please go to a CUNY school because your credits will really count. You can have a whole semester done by the time you get to a CUNY college. And so that's really the benefit of taking these college now courses while they're here and, and doing it. It's really an important thing. Um, it doesn't make sense to take, to take college now and you're not going to work. You know, you're going to go to work, you're not going to go to college. So that's the one thing I will stress to you. Um, let this really, really be a benefit for them, um, as opposed to just something they have to do in the summer. Um, does anybody have any questions for me while I'm standing here? And I have the, and I have the floor, it's my floor. Other than you. <laughs> I forgot about who. Aaron, would you like to stand up and acknowledge your wonderful shaker playing? Again, that is the molded hand in the face thing that your face will stay there. And then you'll wonder why there's fingerprints. Seriously, any of the parents, you know, have any, I'm sure you all know who I am, but do you have any questions? Please feel free to ask while I'm standing here. Please don't make me look silly on film. <laughs> yes. I have a question. Um, have the students participated in this program, have they come to you and said thank you because of this experience on um, now with this college or on majoring in, you know, whatever form of technology or, you know, just uh, gave me a sense of what I wanted to do professionally? Well, yeah, I mean, we have, you know, we have two students here from last year, okay? We have Alicia, who was my intern this year. Okay, going to City College, just graduated high school, going to City College, scholarship, first year, you know, that whole thing, Sonic Arts program thing. So we have her, okay, lovely. And as a lovely surprise today, we have Techni over here, one of uh, Professor Shepard's uh, vocal students who is now seeing her in vocal studio in the city. So we have her here. Okay. This stuff is fun. If I could do like college now for adults, we'd be having the best time. Trust me. And you know what I'm talking about, parents. We'd be doing all these songs that we like, 
that we know are good, and they will be sitting in the audience going, what are they doing? And, you know, going like this, you know, and all like that. Um, I, can't, I just can't stress enough how really great and important the program is. Yes? To be in this class, what do you got to be, like 14? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm actually just sitting here wondering, wow, what would I have done? Okay. <laughs> but I couldn't go to co I couldn't be in college now because I went to one of those schools. You see, so. But I think for the public school thing, I mean, I don't know. I can't stress it. It's great. Um, one of our students, uh, two summers ago, maybe three summers ago, she took this program, and then she went to uh, the Borough of Manhattan Community College and went into their television production program. And she's also at City College now, doing her thing in either music or, or production. I mean, don't just stop here. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. For my, for my tech people, lots more cables in television. <laughs> the thicker, the heavier. Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Is there anything that, like this that will be offered to them for next year? For a when? Is there anything like this that will be offered to them next year? Um, you know, we, we've talked about this quite a few times. I guess if the music people, if they've never done theater, they can go to theater and act and perform. They can do that. But we don't repeat the music thing a second year. No, it's not because I'm the same. But there's my boss over there saying, hello. Yes, there's lots of other things you can do. College now doesn't just run at Waysboro, it runs through all 17 colleges. Your college does a jazz program. Uh, there's more music programs in the city as well. Is there another music program? And there are CSE yes. programs, yes. But so do you mean? You need to check the QE uh, College Now Central website and you will see what, what is being offered in the summer. And in the summer, students do not need to be part of the partner school. We have partner schools for the fall and the spring. But in the summer, they can pretty much go anywhere if they're eligible and they're accepting into that particular program. But did you mean like in the, in the same school? Like, do we have like a second year like of this? Yeah, okay, well, yeah, you can do, there's so much. And if you looked at the College Now webpage, it's, just keep going, okay? Yes? So uh, you said that they are all year round. Yeah. So I mean, throughout September and, and semester and years, they, get, they have all the programs? Yeah, and like, for instance, here we have a music theory class that they can take, okay? And, that's, and it runs literally like the same way our regular uh, classes run, okay? So they have to do, is it 15 weeks or is it 12? It's 12 weeks, the music theory? 15, so it's the same thing. Like, they're literally going to college, okay? Um, I, think, I think the class starts at like 3 in the afternoon, so it's like an after-school class, so it's a theory class. So we have that here. But this is the only, the music tech thing is very special. Queensboro, we're the only school that teaches music technology in the CUNY system in the junior colleges. Now, City College has a very interesting music technology program, plus they have an excellent radio program, um, you know, radio station. They just got a whole new equipment, a whole bunch of new equipment there. So that's a school that a lot of our students will leave here and go to. But we're like, when I first came here in 2005 as an adjunct, believe me, when I, walked into, when I walked into the studio, I was shocked of all the equipment, of all the opportunities that were there. And we've only grown as a program since 2005. And so we're already offering a lot of things that by the time they go to a four-year college, even like at NYU, we do have an articulation with, with NYU for music technology. That's if you want to spend NYU money. Now, my philosophy on life is, well, the knob on that mixer that we have here works the same way the knob on that same mixer at City College. So why does it cost more at NYU? I don't know. Maybe it's the real estate. I don't really get it. But um, we, teach, we teach the same things that a lot of these other schools do. But we prepare them for an NYU or City College. So that's why this school is particularly um, wonderful, kind, and loving, and caring. Okay. Other questions? Other questions? Ask me everything. I think I know everything. Questions? 
Now, do you want to do a little song? Excuse me? Okay, I'm going to ask you this again. Do you want to do your little song? I love Daniel. He, he challenges me every day. Do you want to do your sting song? Okay. They're going to do a lovely surprise sting song. Now, who's going to sing this lovely song? You're going to sing this? I'm going to sit down and enjoy a performance that I will honestly admit I'm looking forward to because I haven't seen it yet. I brought this to the attention of the group the first week. And I played it, and I had to print out the music, and I gave it to Daniel. He came back two days later, over the weekend, he had learned the whole thing, and I had to look at him because I don't even think I learned the whole thing. So he learned the whole guitar part, and that's when I knew that I had an, an exceptional group because the singing was already great, and then I had a band that was just ready to play. So this is uh, Sting, Shape of My Heart.
Thank you. See, now I love that. See? I didn't have to hear that. Thank you for a wonderful surprise. And they really just, they really figured that out during lunch. <laughs> they sacrificed a meal for a song, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is really our college now, summer 2010. I'm exhausted. I'm a happy exhausted. We're going to have the best dinner. Okay, we're eating. And uh, we have to kind of do get out of here, but as we're packing up, please just come down, introduce yourselves, parents, say hi. Um, be proud of your child. No matter what they did, they did something great this summer. And thank you very much for coming out. <laughs>